Today we are going to export a video um, with a transparent background. To do this, after you've set up your animation, you need to go to Render Video. Now it's important before you render your video, you need to pay attention to this view box right here. You are either in camera mode, which I am because the, the camera is red here, this icon, or you are in um, edit mode is what I call this. And so if I were to do a video like this, it would be just like this, this tiny little fox. Um, so Cartoon Animator 4 is actually going to render what you see right here. And so if I'm in camera mode, it's going to render everything that I've done in my camera mode. But if I'm not, it's going to render it just like this, your, your viewport mode. And so just make sure that you've decided what you want to render your video in. And obviously you're going to want to use camera mode if you set it up that way. So now I'm going to go to Render, Render Video. Now the default here will be this H.264, which is a standard. The reason I can't use that is because it creates a gray background uh, behind this. And now I'm going to put this video um, in layers on my uh, production video. And so I need a transparent background. So in order to do that, I have to change it to the Apple Pro Res 4444. 4, 4. I think that was four fours. Um, and I always render my videos in 4K. Um, just so I have the highest quality, I can shrink it down if I need to in uh, Adobe Premiere. But once I've set those two up, you then have the last option here of range. Now, the only reason you do all is if you've filled up your entire project um, and you've you used it all, right? In your settings here, I have 2,000 frames. Now, in mine, I, I haven't used all 2,000, so it's here. So when I render that video, I'm going to use the range. So I don't have to, you know, create empty video space and, and take up my hard drive. I'd hit export. I'd save it with a name, um, call it Fox Run on this one or whatever it is. And then I'd hit save in the folder I want it saved in. And once it's done, it'll render the video. And when your video is complete, you'll be able to, uh, sorry, I should have had this open, see that your video is has a transparent background. And so you're able to use that transparent video um, on top of other things, which is something I do in all my creations. So there you have it. That's how you render a transparent background video in Cartoon Animator 4.